you are rich. Alabama is plastic. Ask me what my body count is. You're a bitch. Really hope I'm in focus right now because otherwise that is going to be really annoying. So this dumb bitch is out of focus for the whole video. I'm so sorry, I should really use my glasses. I always have lipstick on my teeth for half this video, so I'm trying, okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Before I start today's video, I just wanted to say thank you so much for the amazing feedback from my last video. I even had people DMing me, telling me how much they loved it and appreciated to see a video like that, so I'm really thankful. So for today's video, I'm doing assumptions. I said to you on Instagram, ask me any assumptions you have of me. You can be as rude as you want. Go in deep if you want to. Be personal, it's fine. I can take it. And you guys really delivered. I was not expecting to get this many, so there will be a part two if you want to see that, let me know. Let's scroll and start with an interesting one. But I've got this question a couple of times. You are rich, privileged as fuck. You come from a rich-ish back, a rich-ish background. So I would not say that I come from a rich background. I would say however that I'm privileged, not in the way that this person is insinuating it because I think they are insinuating it in a way as if I'm like spoiled and ungrateful and I get spoon fed everything which is just not true at all. But no, so basically ever since I was young I've always been so lucky. I did get, I don't want to say I got everything I wanted because that's just not true at all. But I had everything that I needed and I was super spoiled by my mum. I have just been raised by my mum. It's been me and my mum my whole life. I have no siblings. So we have a very close relationship. My mum, we're like best friends even when I was really young. So I can remember my earliest memories are like going on shopping sprees together and it was really the best time. My mum, you know, even if she didn't have much, she would literally give me the world and I'm so grateful for it. Like we would go out and she would get absolutely nothing for herself like my mum never never really shops like that for herself she would always just treat me and i'm so thankful so grateful that i have been blessed with such an amazing mum and i would not say that i come from a rich background but i would say that i'm very lucky to have been able to have the things that i have had obviously it's different now because i'm old enough to work i have worked but I don't currently, thank you COVID, now it's not really the same because I can make the money myself. A lot of the times it might look like I am like rich because on my Instagram, you know, I do have like expensive things. But the thing with me is I go to school for fashion, I love fashion. I will literally save up and spend all my money on something that's designer because I love fashion. I'm also really smart with money. I just, for me, I like quality over quantity. I would not say that I'm rich, but I would say that I am privileged but i also am privileged because i have a roof over my head i have food on my table i have a car i can drive to and from places i have my family who love me and i think those are all privileges as well i don't want to come across like i'm stuck up or rude but i'm literally just being completely 100 honest with you guys you avoid drama so this is very true i hate drama i'm a very introverted person which is just such a negative energy in your life you just don't need it obviously when i was younger it's different because when you're in school you know you get yourself into petty drama that's just how it was but now i just i hate drama sometimes drama has its way of finding me and times like those i can't help it i have to just say my bit and go usually of me a lot of the time i kind of hold back even if i've got if i have something to say i do kind of hold back because i don't want to get into drama which isn't the best thing because you know if you do feel some type of way you shouldn't just like let it continue because you're scared of like standing up i need to work on that but um i'm getting better slowly but yeah i do avoid drama i don't like it i'm turning 20 years old i don't need drama in my life okay next up you're spiritual so i don't know about this one in the religious aspect i would say yes being brought up in an Italian family, I was brought up by my Italian side. My grandparents are very religious, Catholic, Christian, so I have got religious morals and you know, I've been baptised, had a communion, been confirmed, I went to Catholic primary school, I went to church when I was younger. It has changed now, I don't really do those things as much often, but I would like to get back to that because I think believing in something and having belief in your life is just it's nice to have that. I think, yeah, I don't know if this is like the aspect of like spiritual as in like the earth and like crystals and rocks and like 
for all of that stuff. Um, not really, but I would like to get more into it. I just haven't really had the time or just found a time to do it, but I would like to. I think the power of your mind and the power of your thoughts are so strong. I think it's just amazing. So that's sort of like talking to yourself. Like I said in my last video, I talk to myself. And yeah, the power of thoughts is just really, really strong that you have a boyfriend. <laughs> My boyfriend sent this one in and I'm not going to put it on the screen and I'm not going to address it because I'm not going to put that out there. Alabama is plastic. A good one to address. So my cousin sent this in. This is an inside joke we have because whenever we go to Italy, every year about fail, it is the same individuals, boys, males of course, who accuse me of having fake boobs and a BBL, a fake bum. That is not true. Boobs, I can't really help that. Obviously my bum has changed because I go gym. Where I'm from in Italy, it's a very small town, very traditional. Girls don't really go gym like that, so I think it's hard for them to believe that I do, but I do. And I post it on socials, but they still don't believe me. They've been accusing me literally since I was 16. So yes, I am real. And I think I got another assumption saying that I have stuff done and I haven't. So yeah, you have the biggest heart. This was sent in by one of my best friends, Lauren. I love you. I like to think that I do have a big heart. I just really care about other people. And you know, I try my best to please other people. People that are important to me in my life. So I would say that I do have a big heart. Um, I think that's a good quality of mine because I always try and see the best in every single person. I give everyone the time of day. Sometimes, you know, not the best decision, but I do and that's just it's a quality I have and I can't you know do anything about it you know more than one language not really well kind of obviously I know English um, and I know Italian but I can't speak it very well I know it's so bad blame my mum she never taught me Italian mum you're watching this why didn't you teach me Italian <laughs> I can understand it pretty well um, but speaking it is not my strong suit I can speak a bit of French. I did French in school and I was pretty good at it. I've always been good at picking up languages. I am trying to learn Japanese by watching anime, but it's difficult. It's so difficult. You steal your friend's body suits. <laughs> so this one was sent in by one of my other best friends, Aislinn. Love you, Aislinn. But I'm not gonna put this on the screen and I'm not gonna address this because I'm not putting this on the internet, but. I love you. So someone with no profile picture, no followers, following no people asked me what my body count is. Number one, that is a question and not an assumption. So I'm a bit confused there. Number two, that is very personal and will not be putting that information on the internet. I'm not insinuating that it is really high or anything because it's not, it's the complete opposite. But I just think that's really private and like, I would not put that on the internet. Like, that's just not me. <laughs> You're a bitch. Um, yeah. No, I'm joking. I'm not a bitch. I really hope people don't think this of me. I think sometimes because I am an introvert and because I get anxious, like, sometimes I just don't talk or sometimes I talk too much to try and fill the void of silence. But I'm not a bitch, guys. I'm really not. And I hope you don't think that of me. I hope I don't give off that vibe either. I'm trying to make this YouTube channel so you can see my real personality because, yeah. Guys, I'm actually sweating so badly. I'm not going to lift my arms up because I'm scared of what's there. You're prestige. No, I'm not prestige. I don't act prestige. Like I said, <laughs> it probably gives off that vibe because I like designer stuff and like, but I'm not prestige. I don't act like I'm prestige. I give everyone the time of day, like I said, so no, I'm not prestige. <laughs> You're misunderstood by a lot of people. Yeah, I would say that's true. I think people have their preconceptions about me. I'm not sure why, maybe people have heard stuff about me that's just not true. But yeah, no, I think I am quite misunderstood. This is what I'm saying. The YouTube channel should hopefully change this because I hate when people think they know someone and they don't and they just kind of go off of what they believe yeah no i do think i'm quite misunderstood you're very future focused i also got goal driven yes i like this assumption just want to be financially independent i want to be able to provide for myself and not rely on the people to provide for me i want to have my own source of income i'm on the right path so i'm at my dream uni doing my dream subject i'm on the right path to it so i'm so happy 
dated a lot of people this is very false i'm only in my second relationship um and even before i got into any relationships i got into my first relationship when i was 16 so even before that i literally never dated like i didn't talk to people like that all the way through high school my friends can vouch for me i literally did not talk to guys i was not interested in that my friends while well, they were talking to guys i was not interested i just wanted to get my grades and get out of there and that's what i did i didn't care about guys i really didn't so yeah i have not dated a lot of people i have not spoken to a lot of people at all and i think that is something that people believe but it's the total opposite. You love yourself. I do love myself and I don't see a problem with that. I think everyone should love themselves. I don't act in a way that's rude because I love myself. I act in a way that is happy. I love myself because I'm happy, because I'm kind, because I've learnt to love myself and be the best version of myself. But I do not act like I love myself in a way that's like, I think I'm up here and people are down here. Do you know what I mean? Photoshop your Insta pics. I don't Photoshop my Insta pics. I will be completely 100% honest. I have the Facetune app. If my skin is going through a bad moment, I will take the spot out of my face. Or there was one time when my makeup was like patchy on my forehead and I just kind of blended it in. Or I'll whiten the background or I'll use the details to detail like my makeup or my eyebrows or things that aren't quite captured in the picture. I have an iPhone 7 guys, it's kind of hard to get clear pictures these days. Yeah, that's what I do. I don't like Photoshop it or anything like that. You don't get along with girls. This is completely false. I have girlfriends I've known since I was like three, four. I have girlfriends that I've only recently just met but they're like family to me. I love my girlfriends and um, I think it's really important to have them. I get along very well with girls. So yeah, that's, that's not true. You're a private person. And I would definitely say that I am more so now than I was before. I think it's very important to be private. Your social life and your personal life, like a separation between the two. Because I don't want people knowing all my business. I really don't. And like, I think that's so important. It's important for the stable friendships, relationships, just to keep a little bit of it offline. I think that's very good. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. There will be a workout video coming soon, an at-home workout. I've just rearranged my room a little bit. I don't know if you've seen the background difference. So it's quite hard to find somewhere to film, but I will definitely get one coming out for you guys. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!